Hi, it's Miss Jennifer at Somerset Academy of Music, and today we're going to be talking about G sharp minor or A flat minor scale. They're the same scale, meaning that we use the same fingers and play the same keys on the piano whether we're playing G sharp minor or A flat minor. The only thing that's different is the letter names that we refer to the, the keys or the notes as. So, if we're playing in the key of G sharp minor, we're going to start with five sharps. Those would be F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp, and A sharp. If we're playing A flat minor, then we have seven flats. That means every note and key is flat. In that case, we would have B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, C flat, and F flat. I'm going to take you through the scale as if it is the G sharp minor scale. If you want to learn to play the A flat minor scale, it's the exact same keys with the exact same fingers. You simply will call the notes different letter names, but everything else will sound the same. Everything else is the same. Okay, so moving on. As I said, we have five sharps to start with in the scale. And as we know, um, when we play minor scales, there are three forms. There is the natural, the harmonic, and the melodic. In the natural form, we'll play the scale just as it is in the key signature. When we play the harmonic minor scale, we know that we raise the seventh note a half step. And in the melodic form, it only ascends. Um, and we will raise the sixth and the seventh on the way up. When we come back down, we'll come back down as if we're playing the natural scale. So it descends without the sixth and the seventh raised. Okay, so we'll go more into detail as we get to each form of that scale. So I'm gonna take you through first with the letter names, one octave in the right hand. That would be G sharp, A sharp, B, C sharp, D sharp, E, F sharp, G sharp. On the way down, G sharp, F sharp, E, D sharp, C sharp, B, A sharp, G sharp. The fingering would go like this. Three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, back down, three, two, one, three, two, one, four, three. That's the right hand. Let's look at the left. I'll just go through the fingering uh, because the letter names, of course, are the same. So the fingering is three, two, one, three, two, one, four, three, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three. All right. Okay, this scale is an easy one to put hands together once you uh, know your notes um, because our thumbs are going to play at the same time. They're going to both land on B and E, and then our fingers just lay nicely. They land nicely and perfectly on the black keys. So this is what it's going to look like when we put hands together. G sharp, A sharp, B, C sharp, D sharp, E, F sharp. G sharp, F sharp, E, D sharp, C sharp, B, A sharp, G sharp. All right, now we're ready to move on to the harmonic form of the G sharp minor scale. And we have something kind of new, might be new for you um, to learn about. I'm kind of excited to, sh to show it to you. We're gonna be introducing the double sharp on the scale. And as we know, when we play the harmonic form of a minor scale, we always raise the seventh note. The seventh note of the G sharp minor scale is F sharp, okay? So when we raise a sharp, a note that's already sharp, how we do that is by making it a double sharp. Now, some of you are gonna see, and not like this, you're gonna say, why can't we just call this G? Because F double sharp is the same key as G, that is true. But we remember that when we're playing a scale, it's very important that we keep our letter names in alphabetical order. If we call this G instead of F double sharp, then our scale would skip over the F. We wouldn't have an F in the scale and we'd have two letter G's. That gets things twisted and complicated, I promise you. Trust me, it's really important that we do think of this note as double sharp. It's There, there is a really good reason for it. It's not just trying to make things more complicated. It's a reason. It's about maintaining that alphabet. So when we go to build chords, uh, talk about key signatures, all these things, this will maintain the letter names. It's very important that we do that. Okay, so we're going to have uh, the F double sharp here instead of playing F sharp. So let's take a look at what that looks like with the letter names. G sharp, A sharp, B, C sharp, D sharp, E, 
instead of going to F sharp, we're going to F double sharp, G sharp, F double sharp, E, D sharp, C sharp, B, A sharp, G sharp. See, that wasn't that hard. A few times practicing that and a double sharp will not be a big deal for you. Okay, let's talk about fingering. It's going to be three, four, one, two, three, one, two goes on the double sharp. Three, two, one, three, two, one, four, three. Okay, we got it, no problem. Let's take a look at the fingering for the left hand. Now, in the same way, we're going to have the double sharp because our seventh note is raised a half step. So for that reason, what we want to do is we want to have our thumb land here instead of here. So we're going to make one tiny change in the fingerings to accommodate that change. And it's going to look like this. Three, two, one. Instead of putting our third finger on here on C sharp, we're going to put our fourth finger. And that way, our thumb can land on the double sharp and then we can go to our third finger on the G sharp. Back down, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Just takes remembering to put the fourth finger on the, on the C sharp and the, in the harmonic form, and then we've got it. All right, let's see what that looks like together. Makes it a little more complicated because our thumbs are not playing at the same time, but we can still manage it. It's still not that too hard if you know, the, if you know how to do it. Okay, so G sharp, A sharp, B, C sharp, D sharp, E, F double sharp, both third fingers go on, G sharp, F double sharp, E, D sharp, C sharp, B, A sharp, G sharp. There's our harmonic form. We've got one form left, and that is the melodic form. Okay, same thing we're going to do on the way up. We're raising six and seven, and we're going to do that same thing we did before. We're going to put our fourth finger on the C sharp in the left hand, um, and we will now have E sharp and F double sharp, okay? So let's go through the right hand first, and then we will do the left and then put them together, as usual. Okay, so I'm going to go through letter names first. G sharp, A sharp, B, C sharp, D sharp, E sharp, F double sharp, G sharp. Now, remember, when we do melodic forms on the way back down, we're going to come back down the natural form. So in the natural form, we had F sharp, E, D sharp, C sharp, B, A sharp, G sharp. Okay, I'm going to do that with the fingering this time. Make sure you pay attention to the little turnaround that happens up here, changing the E sharp and the F double sharp back to E natural and F sharp. That's all that's changing on the way back down. Okay. So here we go. Three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, two, one, three, two, one, four, three. So we had that little change around in the notes here, but the fingering did not change in the right hand. Okay. In the left hand, we're not only going to have the note change from instead of playing E, we're going to play E sharp. Instead of playing F sharp, we're going to play F double sharp. Um, not only will ha we have those letters change, but also the fingering will change back. So this is where the left hand gets a little complicated. Um, so first I'll go through the letters, kind of take a little, I'll go slowly when we get to the change so you can see how that happens um, with the letter names. Here we go. G sharp, A sharp, B, C sharp, D sharp, E sharp, F double sharp, G sharp. Now remember we're returning to the natural form on the way back down. So now it's F sharp, B, D sharp, C sharp, B, A sharp, G sharp. Did you catch that? Okay, hopefully you did. We'll go through the fingering, get another chance to look at what that's happening there. And all we're doing is instead of playing these two notes, we're playing these two notes on the way up, and then we're going back to these two notes on the way down. Three, two, one, cross your four, three, two, one, Cross your three, back down, natural, four, one, two, three, one, two, three. I know you can do it with practice. You can do it. All right, now we're going to put this together. All right, a little complicated. We can do it. Practice, practice, we can learn to play anything, I promise. Okay, so going through the finger numbers, I'll go through this one twice. Um, I'll go through it once without talking so you can kind of see what happens. First, I'll go through saying the uh, letter names and then I'll go through it once without talking. Here we go. 
G sharp, B sharp, B, C sharp, D sharp, E sharp, F double sharp, G sharp, F sharp, E, D sharp, C sharp, B, A sharp, G sharp. Okay, here's what it looks like with no talking. The G sharp minor scale also can be known as the A flat minor scale. All right, now let's talk about how to make this two octaves. Two octaves, once you master the, the one octave on this one, two octaves, it's the same thing. Nothing changes in the second octave. It's just a matter of um, knowing the scale really well. Two octaves, four octaves should be a piece of cake when you're ready. But definitely master it one octave first. Okay, basically all we're gonna do is we're gonna play one octave. <laughs> Once we get there, we're just going to keep going, make it two octaves, you can keep going, three octaves, four octaves, you can play the scale all day up the piano, not a problem. Same thing when you're coming down, you're just going to start the scale over again on the way down. Okay, one of the easier scales to play two octaves once you've mastered one octave. Okay, so here's the right hand, we'll go through letter names, G sharp, A sharp, B, C sharp, D sharp, E, F sharp, G sharp, we're going to keep going, A sharp, B, C sharp, D sharp, E, F sharp, G sharp. Back down, G sharp, F sharp, E, B sharp, C sharp, B, A sharp, G sharp, F sharp, E, D sharp, C sharp, B, A sharp, G sharp. Okay, let's look at the left hand. Same fingering as when we did it one octave, so I'll just go through the letter names and then we'll put it together. G sharp, A sharp, B, C sharp, D sharp, E, F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, B, C sharp, D sharp, E, F sharp, G sharp. G sharp, F sharp, E, D sharp, C sharp, B, A sharp, G sharp. F sharp, E, D sharp, C sharp, B, A sharp, G sharp. Okay, we're gonna put it together. This is the natural form of the G sharp minor scale. It goes like this. form as we remember the harmonic form the only thing that changes in the right hand is we're going to be playing F double sharp instead of the F sharp um, the left hand we're going to be also doing that same change where we're playing um, F double sharp instead of F sharp but we also have the added change in the fingering because we're going to be putting our fourth finger on the C sharp so that we can get our thumb onto the F double sharp so I'm going to play through the left hand um, once hand separately um, with the finger numbers, and then we'll put it together. Okay, this is what it looks like. Three, two, one, four, three, two, one, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two. Not too hard we just as long as you get your fourth finger on c sharp and remember to play f double sharp you should be fine with that left hand all right this is what it looks like together g sharp a sharp b c sharp d sharp b f double sharp g sharp a sharp b c sharp d sharp e f double sharp g sharp f double sharp e d sharp c sharp b a sharp g sharp without talking. Okay, we've got one more form and then we're finished. We're moving on to the melodic minor and this is obviously the most complicated because we're going to have E sharp, and F double sharp on the way up, on the way down, 
F sharp and E natural. We also will have the fingering change in the left hand, fourth finger on C sharp on the way up, but on the way down, we'll be back to the third finger on the C sharp. Okay, let's do, let's go through the left hand um, finger numbers so you can watch that turn around um, and then we'll put it together. So it goes like this. Three, two, one, cross your four, three, two, one, cross your three, two, one, cross your four, three, two, one, cross your three. Here's the change back to F sharp. So we're going to four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three. All right, let's put it together. Here we go. G sharp, A sharp, B, C sharp, D sharp, E sharp, F double sharp, G sharp, A sharp, B, C sharp, D sharp, E sharp, F double sharp, G sharp. We're turning around back to the natural form. F sharp, E, D sharp, C sharp, B, A sharp, G sharp, F sharp, E, D sharp, C sharp, B, A sharp, G sharp. We did it. Okay, here's once without talking. Master it one octave first, then you should be no problem to do two or more octaves when you're ready for that. Okay, I appreciate you so much for watching. Thanks for checking out my video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family. And I will be so excited to see you in the next video where we're going to be talking about how to play the E flat minor or also called the D sharp minor scale. So I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.